Here we go. This is a little bit of a different vibe here, but we're gonna give this a try. I <laughs> have signed up to take a virtual cooking class. This is being put on by the New York City uh, Wine and Food Festival. I am taking Bobby Flay's brunch class. He's teaching us all today how to make huevos rancheros. So anyway, there's some man making a cocktail right now, but soon Bobby's gonna come on. <laughs> and basically, we'll be making breakfast with Bobby Flay. So yeah, I think I will make a coffee. I look forward to making this brunch with you guys. <laughs> Here's uh, over to the kitchen, everybody. <gasps> um, today's guest doesn't really need an introduction. Bobby Slay on Zoom! More people because uh, it was quite <laughs> necessary. Uh, so I don't really need to tell you about Bobby Flay. TV, and if there's one thing that I think you need to know about Bobby Flay, he brought the Crunch Burger into the world. Probably, this is so kind of cool. Uh, on the side here. So, Bobby, here's how this will go down. Share with us what we're making today. We'll do a little roll call. There's 434 of us in this class. Uh, in front of that before we cook, and then we get to stop down for about 30 seconds or so in case anyone needs to run to the fridge or the pantry. Does that sound all right? I said, that sounds perfect. Um, hey, everybody. Thanks so much for um, tuning in today. Why am I gay? Uh, obviously, we need to support uh, the restaurants across the country. They are the lifeline of this country. True. Um, I worked in a I've restaurant. I've closed uh, 15 restaurants since the uh, since the pandemic. Oh my gosh, and Bobby! You, as you can imagine, you you know what that means to all the employees and basically the, the heartbeat of my entire company. Oh. That said, you know there's been some am amazing efforts, and this is certainly a really strong one. Today yes. I'm going to make some huevos rancheros. When um yeah we are. When Lee asked me to do this. And uh, Sunday was available for brunch. I jumped on it right away because I love brunch. I think it's a um, it's a it's a cheerful moment of eating. It's one of my favorite days. Mm. It's one of my favorite moments of the week always. Did As you guys well, know that huevos rancheros means ranch style eggs? Because it's Memorial Day weekend. Onions, some garlic. I'm going to show you how to make that sauce. Woo! Black beans. Woo! Uh, if you had dried black beans and you hopefully you soaked in a cook ahead of ahead of time. I did If not, canned black beans work really nicely. Okay. That you that of course you drain he's out homemade. the liquid that's in the black beans and then rinse it so that the black beans are nice and shiny. And then this is cotija cheese. This is how you spell it. C O T I G A. C O T I G A. Okay. This is sort of like Mexico's version of Persia. And it's kind of, it's one of those things that's like, they're like crazy. You guys, this like, is you kind of going, tight. You know, you get a really I feel like I should cook then, all my meals like this. Right? I find it very therapeutic, actually. But then what you want to do is you want to take your tortillas and you want to, you want to stack them on top of each other, like I have here, and cover them so that they steam. Okay, he's talking a lot about tortillas right now, so I'm going to mute you for just a quick sec, Bobby. Okay, sauce time. Onions and garlic. And... I have some crushed garlic. Okay. And we're going to let this sweat for a second. And what I mean by that is we're going to saute without color. Okay. So if you're sauteing something, these onions can get, get like, like lightly golden brown. So that would be sauteing. If you're sweating them, all you're doing is just cooking them in there, turning We're just sweating them. And you're, you're sort of releasing the juices, the oil, of the onions, and the garlic, and you're releasing them so that they really open up in the flames. Okay? Okay. So you want to let this cook for a couple of minutes, and then we're going to add our canned tomatoes right on top of that. Okay. And you want the juices in there as well. You see the juice in there? Yes. You want that in there. Nice. The degree of spicy is really up to you. This is where you become. Hell yeah! Girl. The degree you know, of spicy is up inside. to me. Okay, guys. So Bobby didn't puree any of those things for the sauce, so I'm not going to puree any of those things. That saves me having to do anything with a blender. Great. So it's Spanish onion, garlic, some olive oil. He said whatever he said about that. Then we're going to add the plum tomatoes, the chipotle peppers and adobo sauce the ancho chili powder, and some honey and salt and pepper. So let's freaking continue on. Okay, y'all, there's our sauce, our ranchero sauce. Now I'm gonna do the tortillas in here and the eggs in here. He's cutting up avocados. He's really fast, but he's an iron chef, so what do you expect? And we're gonna take the and you know, I was totally thrilled. I guess... My trying to fry my tortillas, I already burnt one. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Bobby, help. Oh. One of my idols was Muhammad Ali. I never got to cook 
cook with him. But he's one of the people that I'd like to sit around at a table and talk to him about, like, you know, just about his life because it just seems incredibly, you know, obviously successful and interesting and there were good times. Okay, so you can see my, as we were talking, uh, my eggs are cooking and you want these to look like the sun. That's why they're called sunny side eggs. You just kind of layer all these ingredients that you prep ahead of time. Okay. Right on top. Did you hear him? All the things we prepped this ahead of like time? This is like a very rustic dish, so you sort of just scatter, crap. Right? You're not using uh, Hey guys, let me show you what's going on on my end. I am frying up the tortillas here. I got my sauce going. So I'm doing well. Then I'm gonna do the egg last. So Bobby's like answering questions right now. He's way ahead of time. I'm very behind. Oh shoot. Oh gosh, I'm not good at this. What are you gonna do? He's a chop champion. Okay, I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl who lives alone. <laughs> just making huevos rancheros for herself on a Sunday. Okay, the last tortilla. Let's see what's going on with Bobby now while well, that's doing that, I guess. Who's he texting? Bobby, who are you texting? I'm going to try the sauce while he's answering Good questions. Mid-July, Labor Day, and Labor Day is Somewhere in my process, I've done something wrong. Okay, I'm a little bit in fear for my life. That was, my mouth is literally on fire. I had chili powder. Did I go too hard in the paint? I think I went too hard in the paint with that chipotle and adobo. I'm not very bright. I'm just not very bright. Thank you again to Chef Bobby Clay and thank you to Bank of America for their partnership. Thank you, the Bobby. Food Festival and thank you all for your support. Please stay safe. Let's say and bye. Stay healthy, everybody. Bye, Bobby. This, oh, that was it, you guys. I'm left hanging in the dust with a sauce that is entirely too hot because I thought that I could just pour things in like Bobby was. I was wrong. Okay, so now it's just me, all by my freaking lonesome. My sauce is too hot. My tortillas are not that crispy. Oh. I think I did a pretty okay job just now doing that. Now, Bobby was saying to lay down one of your things, okay? And then you're gonna lay down your cheese so that when you lay your egg on top of your cheese on your tortilla, that the egg will like melt it. How do you, what is one, how do you, what do you do? Do you grate cotija cheese? What do you do with cotija cheese? So we've got the egg, we've got this very hot sauce. Let's put a little avocado on there. We're gonna need a lot of avocado to cool my mouth down. I just know it. And then let's do some sour cream. Here goes my bite. <gasps> oh. Food's in my hair. I don't know why, that's pretty good. Mmm. The sour cream and the avocado do help cool down that sauce. Mmm, this is good. This is really good. Okay guys, so it's now 10 a.m. We just made sort of huevos rancheros. We had some issues along the way. Overall success. So yes, <laughs> that is it for this video. Uh, let me know if I should follow any other chef's recipes or if this was a total disaster, but kind of fun. I would do this again, but I would prep anything they told me to prep ahead of time. Um, but that's it. If anybody wants a jar of this, I have enough to feed 40 people. So I'm gonna jar this up and sell it. Thank you so much for watching and I will go ahead and see you guys again in my next video.